All right, well, a historic mission, Intuitive Machines, becoming the first private firm to successfully land a spacecraft on the moon, touching down Thursday night at 6.24 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, shares of Intuitive Machines are shooting up as a result of this. You're seeing that optimism reflected in the share price this morning, up near, near more than 30%, I should say. We have video of the station when the lander first touched down. Lots of excitement. Let's take a listen. We can confirm, without a doubt, as our equipment is on the surface of the moon, and we are transmitting. So, congratulations, IM team. We'll see how much more we can get from that. Kiko, talk to us just about obviously making history here, but the fact that this is being done by a privately owned spacecraft, that that is what it, it touched down on the moon last night. Yeah, Shana, I mean, this really does point to a fundamental change in the way the space program is now being carried out, at least here in the U.S. You talked about a historic moment here, the first commercial lunar landing, but also the first time the U.S. has had a presence on the moon since 1972. That's when the Apollo mission was closed out here. And when you think about this, this was the fourth try for a commercial company. Now, some comparisons here between what happened back during the Apollo mission and then what's happening today. Back then, it was NASA really funding these big missions here. This time, it is about the commercial side of things here, really um, leaning in on um, what uh, the, the mission is going to be. Now, let's talk about the path it took to get here because remember just last month it was Astrobotic, a Pittsburgh-based company that attempted to make that first lunar landing by a commercial company. That didn't necessarily pan out. Before that it was Japan's iSpace last year getting really close to the lunar landing before uh, things did not work out. And then back in 2019 you had a privately funded lander from Israel crash on its route to the moon. Now in all, NASA has awarded $2.6 billion to 14 different American companies. You can expect more of these missions to come here, but NASA really leaning in on the private sector here to establish what they see as a low cost, and we're talking relative terms here because it's not necessarily a low cost, but lower cost transportation system that would allow them to take research up to the moon. Long term, this is about establishing a more permanent presence on the moon. Remember, you've got that Artemis mission scheduled for 2025 uh, in terms of the first crewed mission heading over to the moon and then another mission back in 2026 as well. So you've got a really long pipeline here, but really, guys, it, it's important to, to, to think about why this is all playing out. You've got SpaceX sending this lunar land, uh, this specific uh, la uh, lander from uh, intuitive Machines. Before that, it was ULA, this joint venture between Boeing and Lockheed Martin. So really the private sector leading the way here on these uh, lunar missions. Certainly. All right, Akiko, thanks so much for breaking that down for us.